<laughs> well, LDBC. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Wow, it didn't take long at all. So let's get this straight. So now all of a sudden you guys are Jamel Charlo fans. Oh, man, how does that work? So, whoa, 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 wait a second. I know why y'all Jamel Charlo fans. Y'all Jamel Charlo fans because he said race don't matter. That's what you guys said. Oh, my goodness. So race don't matter. Uh, okay, so nah. so all these people are pro Jamel Charlo. <laughs> How do you explain this? You know, I don't think people, people don't want to, you know, say Jamel can't have his own opinion. That's, that's, not, the, that's not the whole case. That's not it. The thing of it is, man, you're a black guy. You're black. And, you know, when you say race, don't matter. And I don't think, see, a people, they're taking Jamel Charlo completely out of context. He didn't say race don't matter ever, okay? He didn't say in the whole world. He's just kind of saying the race don't matter in boxing, which I think they're just totally ignorant. <laughs> it's ignorant. I mean, hey, Jamel, do you not... Do you ever go to your Instagram? Do you ever go to your YouTube channel and check your comments? You ever check those things? Uh, because I guarantee you, if you check your YouTube channel, check some of your comments on Instagram, just go down far enough, and you'll see somebody making some kind of racial epitaph towards you. I mean, I'm not as popular as you are, and I still get racial comments every day. So for you to sit there and say, okay, that race don't matter, of course it matters. Of course, and, and it, it matter with you. I mean, race don't matter? Well, why didn't you get the Canelo fight? I mean, is it because, you know, you're this feared fighter? Because, I mean, hey, <laughs> maybe. Maybe Canelo thinks he'll lose to you. Maybe. But I tell you what, boy, there were a lot of people pushing back. And it wasn't black people. Let, let's just be, let's, let, let's get that straight. There were a lot of people pushing back when you were really trying to get this fight with Canelo. A lot. It wasn't black folks. Black people, we were actually pushing for you to get that fight. There was a lot of non-blacks that didn't want you to get that fight. Why? I mean, was it because you wasn't ready? Was it because you hadn't done enough to fight Canelo? You didn't earn the right? Well, we know it wasn't because you didn't earn the right because what did Liam Smith do? How, did, how are you going to explain that? What did Amir Khan do to fight Canelo? I mean, I don't know. How are you going to explain it? What did Yildrum do to earn the right to fight Canelo? So we, we already know that you are worthy to fight Canelo. I, I mean, we got that. Okay, we got that. Hook, line, point, blank, center, we got it. Okay? You are worthy enough to fight Sol Canelo Alvarez. That, that, that's just how that is. Okay? Uh, were you, are you born? Are you a born fighter? I mean, would the fight be a born fight? No. Because, Jamel Charlo, we know that you'll fight in the inside. You'll get in the pocket. You'll go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So we know that you're not a born fighter. What else could it be? Oh, is it because of your personality, your attitude? Well, I mean, you know. Uh, what about Canelo's attitude? <laughs> nah, come on, let's not say he's the perfect gentleman when it comes, nah, man, nah. Nope, Canelo has a savage side. I mean, hey, see what he did? He went in on Oscar De La Hoya. So we know it's not just your personality that people just don't like, because if we know it's your personality, people would just love to see you lose. So they'll watch, so we know it's not that. What else could it be? Seriously, what else could it be? I'll let y'all take a guess. Hey, Jamel, I'll let you take a guess. Of course we know it's not because you're a born fighter. Of course we know it's because you hadn't uh, earned the right. Of course we know that you've earned the right. Of course we know. There's only one thing left. And sir, it's your skin color. It's your skin color. I mean, hey, people were so adamant about getting Canelo to fight Billy Joe Saunders. I mean, people were all for that fight. Hey, man, it's a good fight. It's a great fight for boxing. But then when it comes to you, well, not so much. I mean, <laughs> that, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Yeah, listen, you know, hey, I, I don't have to sit back, and I'm not even upset about it because I understand. I know what's going on. But for you to sit there and say that, hey, race don't matter, of course, sure, it does matter. Of course it matters. It really does matter. And it's been mattering for years, for decades, man, race matters. We're never going to leave a society where people not look at your skin color. People are going to always do that. That's just how it is. That's just the way it's going to be. 
And it's going to be there to the end of time until people can either change their viewpoints, change their ways, change how they think, stop seeing race as the deciding factor on everything. If not, this is what we're going to get. It's not like, you know, it's to the point now, it don't even shock me anymore. It, you know what? And I'm starting to just, you know, it, there, there are people that I just, I don't really follow people like that, man. I just, I don't follow them because it's getting to the point where I'm almost thinking to myself, is it really worth being fans of some of these dudes? Because some of the things that they say and spew, you know, you have to wonder, you know, like, what, what, what are they really at? And they want fame and fortune. That's it. Fame and fortune. <sighs> Well, folks, another one bites to dust. Another one bites to dust, and I'm out.